Hello kids, how are you all? I hope you all are staying safe and having fun in learning. So, our today's topics are addition on number line, addition using an abacus and order in addition. So, let's get started. First, we're going to learn addition on number line. You can see a number line here. We can also carry out addition using the number line. So, to find the sum of 2 and 3 using the number line, we start at 2 and jump 3 numbers to the right. We will jump from 2 to 3, 3 to 4, and 4 to 5. What number do we get? Yes, you are right. We get the number 5, which is the answer. Therefore, the sum of 2 and 3 is 5. Similarly, to find the sum of 3 and 4 using the number line, we will start at 3 and jump 4 numbers to the right. We will jump from 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6, and 6 to 7. What number do we get? Yes, we get the number 7, which is the answer. So, the sum of 3 and 4 is 7. Now, we will understand addition using an abacus. Do you know what is an abacus? Here you can see the picture of an abacus. An abacus has spikes. Here the left spike represents the tens and the right spike represents the ones. Now to find the sum of 3 and 5 using an abacus, we will put 3 red beads in the one spike and we will add five more green beads and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, so the sum of three and five is eight. Now we will find the sum of four and two. For this, we will put four red beads in the one spike and then we will add two green beads and count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, the sum of four and two is six. Now, let's understand the order in addition. When we add the numbers with their orders changed, the answer remains the same. For example, the sum of 2 and 5 is 7. And the sum of 5 and 2 is also 7. Similarly, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. And 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. So, this was order in addition. So, thank you for watching the video. Please do subscribe, like and share. Bye-bye.